well in this box is a 4070 Ti I ordered a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago, when they first uh, went on sale. I have no idea which one I ordered, can't remember for the life of me. The only thing I remember is it was the only one I could get that was even remotely close to MSRP. I paid like 11.50 Canadian for it, which works out to about the 800 dollars that 800 US that I was going for. So let's just uh, open it up and see which one they got. Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Wondering if it's still going for the same price. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of controversy around this. It was the 4080. They re took the 4080 12 gigabyte off. They rebranded it as the 4070 Ti. Everyone's complaining that it's overpriced. Uh, probably is. 800 bucks is quite a lot of money to spend on a GPU, but it's supposed to have 3090 or 3090 Ti quality uh, performance. So that thing is going for still 1500 plus dollars. So it's still pretty expensive. In this video, I'm just going to go through the unboxing of it. We'll see what we get. Uh, I'll put it in my system. We'll do some stress testing with like TimeSpy or something like that, seeing what kind of uh, synthetic benchmark we can get on the GPU. We'll monitor temperatures and all that stuff, but I do plan on doing, I'm um, hoping to get around to doing it on a daily basis, like doing a deep dive with the 4070 Ti on something like Fortnite, and then maybe the next day it'll be Modern Warfare 2, depending on how that goes, and then I'll do some benchmarking with uh, some games that have the built-in benchmark, just so you can compare apples to the apples to see what this kind of performance looks like when you compare it to uh, other graphics cards. Now, if you don't want to miss any of those videos, please like, subscribe. Uh, that way when the video does get released, you'll be able to uh, see it right away. As well, if you have any comments, any suggestions you would like to see this tested or anything like that, leave them down below and I'll try and get to them. All right, so opening this up, there's no uh, stickers or tape I need to get through. My desk is very cluttered. Okay. So we get some, some little information. Packet, quick guy, uh, yeah, nothing really important there. I cannot get it back in. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. Definitely a lot chunkier than my 6700 XT. Yeah, that is a what? Let's take a quick peek over here. Yeah, that's gonna take up like two and a half, three slots. It's actually sitting in my case. Yeah, I got like another inch and a half, so it's a, it's a big boy. I don't think I have a measuring tape. So it is, ooh, just shy of 12 inches long. It's like, oh yeah, it's pretty much bang on 12 inches long. And it is, uh, one, two, Two and a quarter inches thick or deep so yeah it's a big boy no i don't think there's any rgb on here I'm not sure it's got a big fin stack and you know it comes with the uh nvidia 12 pin connector right there you get let's see one display port two display port Three display port, so you get three display ports and one HDMI uh, port. So you got four ports in total. 
So you get the just the standard GPU, big fin stack, nothing fancy on it. It's not overclocked. It's no RGB. It's got it's a plastic uh, frame housing the fan. It's got a metal back plate, fin stack. All right, let's see here. We also get the adapter. So it is. This is the, a 2 8 pin to a 12 pin adapter and what other goodies do we get? It looks like we get some kind of a GPU sag bracket to hold it up Never had one of these, so I don't know exactly how it goes in. So, yeah, when I go to install this, I will do a video on me installing the bracket that comes along. Well, it'll be included in this video of this bracket being installed along with it. So that is anything else? Nope, that's it. So. Got some screws for the bracket, we get the adapter, and we get the GPU. And in the little box, let's show you how to install it, because that will be helpful. So we do have the SAG bracket installation guide, and it, oh, it screws into the motherboard. Okay, that's interesting. So one of these brackets, this piece right here, screws onto the back. And the GPU, and then this bracket right here, as you can tell, mounts right into the motherboard. Interesting. That makes sense though. The thing is a beast. It's huge. Uh, I didn't check what the weight is, but that's probably a good, I don't know, three or four pounds at least. And you don't want to be knocking this, like having someone, I have two kids, don't need them running in here and hitting my computer and causing that to break. It is not a cheap toy. And three-year-olds and five-year-olds have no respect for boundaries. Alright, so the next part of this video will be me trying to install this. Well, first things first, we're going to attach the bracket that came with it to the GPU. So it's Hard to mess up because there's, if you can see here, oh, there's three screw holes right here that line with three screw holes. And where is it? There, three screw holes on the bracket. So, it loops in right here, down there. Then what you need comes with it. There's going to be three screws and three washers that you need to screw in. There we go. Well, step one was very easy. Now the next step is going to require mounting this bracket to the motherboard and it's going to have to squeak in behind my cooler and it's going to mount on those two screws. So my problem is my uh, SATA ports are in the way so hopefully the uh, riser screws that come with it is enough. Yeah it looks like it's enough to, to clear it. So I'll have to unscrew the existing screws. Interesting enough, the uh, washers don't really fit on the riser screw. So I am just going to put it in without it. So, depending on the layout of yours, you might have to play around with this a little bit, but this is, I believe, going to fit.
And there you go. The bracket is mounted. The only thing left to do now is insert the GPU. There we go. So this is different from all the other screws and I believe that is what's going to connect the two brackets together. It is, whole thumb screw, there we go. So this will stop the card from bouncing up and down. Not perfectly, there's still like a hair width in between here, but it's not gonna have very much flex. It's not gonna be able to move a whole lot. And that, we'll get the uh, both end connector. Don't mind my cable management skills because they're horrible. Get that perfect. Connect you right there. that up later but for now I didn't hear any satisfying snap there there we go perfect installed so after playing The Witcher 3 for about 20 minutes, I came and ran Time, time Spy Extreme and got a score of 9,728 points. This is close to the average of 10,100, as you can see here on uh, this chart. And that comes in close to what 3090 averages of 10,328 points. So what they're saying, at least from a synthetic benchmark standpoint goes, the 4070 Ti is on par with the 3090. As you can see here on the right, the GPU temperature came in at around 62.6 Celsius. The memory hit around 60 Celsius, and there are hot spots that hit just shy of 77 degrees Celsius. The uh, thermal limit down below says 84, but I don't believe that's correct. What I've read online, I think it's somewhere in the mid 90s, but again, I can be wrong. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the thermal limit is of this GPU. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks and have a good day.